Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining me tonight as we talk about the topic of volunteering and does it have to be related to the major or the intended major that the student is planning to pursue. My name is Bob Yang and I'm with EduBridge focusing on consulting for students who are focused on the top Ivy League, Stanford, MIT type universities, which is my specialty. I graduated from MIT in 1998 with both my bachelor's and master's in computer science. Right after graduating, I started interviewing students, students who are applying to MIT from high school. Over the past 20 years that I did this, I have interviewed hundreds of students and so am able to share a point of view on how things have changed over the past 20 years, as well as what it takes to be a successful applicant in today's environment. And let me just say that having some kind of community involvement and volunteer work is absolutely critical in your college applications. Colleges wanna see that as a student, you're able to contribute to the school community, not just have the benefits of going to the top school. The only thing worse than having no community involvement or volunteering involvement is to have activities that you only do for one year. Having no activities or volunteering or only doing it for a short period of time is not enough to help you become special, to be different than every other top student who is applying to Harvard or MIT and have straight A's and 1600 SAT scores. You have to rely on volunteering and community service as one way of many that set you apart and make you different. So what does that mean? It means you need to very early on have established an area of interest that you will volunteer or be involved in for many years. Schools can very easily tell when you do something just so that you can have volunteer work on your resume and not because you really care about the activity or are interested. For example, I had one student tell me, I work at a nursing home for old people and I help clean their toilets and bathrooms. And I love it because I love helping old people. Nobody believes that. That's absolutely not valuable because the student doesn't really talk about why he's interested in working with the elderly. So what is a good activity? It's something, as I said, that you do over many years and it's related to something that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be related to your major. It absolutely doesn't at all, but it does have to be related to an interest that you have. And let me give you an example. We've worked with a computer science major student, for example, who was also interested in art. And so over the summers, he would be a teaching assistant at an art camp for kids and go to the local boys and girls club, which is a community center for poor children in the US. And he would teach an art class every week. And he would tell me about the kids that he worked with and tell me a story about how he helped a kid draw his first picture and how that exciting that made him feel. Now, art is not related to computer science, of course, but this student loved to draw. He showed me pictures that he drew and he wanted to share his passion for drawing with others and to help them develop their skills. And the volunteer work that he did that I just told you about was done over many years. 
I could tell based on how he told me the story that he truly loved the activity. And even if it wasn't because of college applications, he would still do that activity because he loved art and he loved getting other people interested in art. So we often get asked, well, volunteering activity, the more the better, right? So that's not necessarily true. As you can probably tell from what I've said so far, it's much more important to show dedication and commitment to a few activities than to do 10 or 20 activities that are very, very broad and across many different interests. What you wanna show is focus and ideally that focus is also related to other things that you have in your resume, even if it's not related to your original major. So if we go back to the example of that art student, the other thing we worked with the student to do is create an art club within school. So one area of activity is around teaching younger kids art. Another area then is even within schools, within his peers, he also wanted to share that interest. And because his school did not have an art club and he created one himself, it shows leadership. He was the founder of a new club in the school. It shows initiative and entrepreneur to create something that wasn't there before in order to make the school better. And not just that, it was related to something that he was deeply interested in. So again, it's important that your activities, even if it's not related to your major, helps tell a story about you, the student. In this case, our student, he was very interested in computer science. He loved to program, but he also wasn't purely technical and appreciated art. He could talk about the Impressionists, Monet, Van Gogh, and his favorite artwork. He's been to art museums around the world. That helps tell an overall story of a more well-rounded person who isn't just singularly focused, but has multiple interests. Now, a lot of parents we work with and students we work with initially say, you know what, volunteering has to be about helping old people or poor people, right? That means I'm doing good for society. But as you can tell from my example, that's not true. It's less important about specifically poor people or old people as helping people in general in a way that's related to something that you're very interested in, where you can relate the volunteer work to classes you take or your club activities or your teacher recommendations or your essays. Right. So in the application, we, one of the things that the student wrote about in one of the essays was about drawing his first picture. Right. And we had his art teacher put in a recommend put in a recommendation as well and submitted pictures of his artwork. Let me give you another example of how you can relate your activities to other parts of your application. Model UN is a popular activity today and a lot of the students uh, we see, especially from Canada. And so we've had students where we coached them and suggested that they also take AP government as a class and that they help volunteer in the election process for a local MP or politician or participate uh, in helping voter registration or in the election. This way, there's a set of club activities, community activities, and classes that reinforce the student's interest in politics. So, given everything that I just said, 
it probably makes sense that you should start planning the process and the activities and your interests earlier than the start of 12th grade when you start college applications. Ideally, you want to be starting to plan in the eighth grade or the ninth grade because the summers are a great time for you to go very deep in the activities. You can spend more time in the activities and you can do more. So I encourage all the parents of younger children and students to start planning ahead. Don't wait until the last minute. Now, if you're an 11th grader or 12th grader and you don't quite have all the activities, that's okay, right? Every student is different and you would try to package it and, and you can emphasize different parts of your application instead of the volunteering piece, right? So there are ways, don't panic. You still can do things that will help strengthen your application around volunteering and activities. Okay, so with that, those are the things that I wanted to share about volunteering and what makes good volunteering activities and what makes it powerful and strong in supporting the overall application. I'm happy now to answer any questions that you all might have. So the question is, my son is in grade eight in September coming up. Does he need to volunteer now? And the answer would be, you know, it's not critical that he, he starts volunteering in September, but he really should be thinking about what types of activities and volunteering work would be exciting to him. He should think about what he's interested in, not caring about volunteering, and then find out ways to volunteer using that kind of interest. And then ideally starting that maybe over the summer uh, after grade eight. Of course, he can certainly start earlier than that, but basically that would be um, the, the time when he absolutely should start if he knows what he wants to do around interests. So the question is, how many hours does my son need to volunteer? For me, that's not exactly the right way to approach volunteering. Volunteering should not be measured by hours, but measured by results. I can volunteer 40 hours a week just cleaning bathrooms, but there's no result. It would be much, much better to maybe spend only 10 hours a week, but create a new club and convince new members to join this club on a subject that I'm interested in. So don't focus on how many hours because the school won't care. Focus more on what are the achievements and results that you can talk about in your volunteering activity. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. This will conclude our session tonight and I look forward to uh, another session tomorrow uh, when we will talk about another topic related to college admissions. Thank you all very much and have a great evening.